What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.3 which just came out today but in this jailbreak it's a tethered jailbreak so you can't really turn on your device once you reboot it such as downloading Winterboard or something like that so right now I'm showing you that I'm running on version 4.3.3 right there alright so now we're just going to have to jailbreak so I'm going to switch to my computer screen and show you the process alright as you can see here we have Red Snow and the iPhone firmware. Now what you gotta do is download 4.3.2 firmware only. This is the way to trick the um, Apple device into thinking you know it has a 4.3.3. So I'm gonna repeat uh, I'm gonna repeat this again. You're gonna update your iDevice to 4.3.3 but before I begin, well I'm messing up already. This jailbreak only works on the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd generation, 4th generation, and the iPad 1st generation. All right. So now you have your iPhone. You must have your 4.3.2 firmware. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And just in case you can run Tiny Umbrella, but I'm not gonna cover that right now. We're gonna save that for the untethered video. So first things first is you go into Red Snow. Right click on Red Snow EXE. Go to Properties. Compatibility. <coughs> Sorry. Check mark on Compatibility Mode and check on run this program as administrator and then click apply and press ok alright so we're gonna double click on right now right now alright you're gonna get this uh, screen familiar to everybody so we're gonna go ahead and browse our IPSW should be right there alright it's gonna be confirming and processing the firmware All right, no, that no, 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 now we're gonna get this list of options here. Install Cydia, install custom bundle, allow boot animation, install iPad baseband, deactivate just boot tethered right now, and just enter P DFE mode. So we're just gonna go ahead and check install Cydia. And of course you can always you know check mark all these like allow boot animation, but since this is a tethered jailbreak, it won't be necessary. So we're gonna click on next. And it's gonna tell you in instructions on how to begin your jailbreak process. So right now I'm going to go ahead and turn off my iPhone, holding down the power button, Oops. all right, I'm wait for that to turn off, and you must be plugged in to your computer, so right here I'm already plugged in, looks like it's already turned off, so now we're going to begin our next step. The next step involves you to hold the home button and the power button together, so we're going to do that in just a bit, all right, now we're going to click next right now. Alright, so we're gonna hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. I'm sure, you guys can see that. 2, 1, let go. Keep holding the home button, but let go of the power button. Alright. On your computer screen, it should be exploding with Lime Rain, waiting for reboot and your screen should be lining up so now it's white and there you go it's downloading jailbreaking data and you're pretty much good to go from here so now on your computer screen it should be saying it's done so you can go click finish and then the risk is up to you guys All right. it's going to be checking can just lay down for a bit. It's gonna take uh, just a while before it's done. But uh, in the meantime, this is a tethered jailbreak, meaning if you download something like Winterboard, it's gonna tell you to reboot your device. Pretty much turn on on and off your iDevice. And pretty much what a tethered jailbreak does is that it can no longer turn on by itself. You're gonna need a computer or a you know Mac or Windows. You just gotta connect it to the computer and run Red Snow again. That's one of the downfalls, cons of a tethered jailbreak. But um, sometimes you won't really need to um, use Red Snow that much because you know there's other uh, not many apps that require you to reboot, 
and the only time you really have to reboot is either if your battery is all the way down to 0% or like I said you're gonna download winter board and so it's basically easy to um, just to turn on device turn on the device all right all right so now we're in on an iPhone and as you can see there there's Cydia so we're gonna hold that bring that over here okay and then hold on all right then we're gonna go to Cydia as you can see there you can't open Cydia at all it just closes and this is where you're gonna go back into Red Snow so we're gonna turn that off so now we're back at Red Snow again double click on Red Snow EXE you're gonna get the familiar window browse for the IPSW yes next Alright, so now we're going to go uncheck install Cydia. Now we're just going to just boot tethered right now. I'm going to click on next. And it's going to tell you to do the same thing. Make sure it's plugged in and the device is turned off. So we're going to do that right now. Turn off the device. Alright, looks like it's turned off. So now we're going to begin our process again of holding the home button and the power button. So we're going to click next on Red Snow. And then count down and hold the buttons. Power button and the home button. Alright, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Alright, and if we reboot, there it is, white screen, and you got the pineapple logo. So everything seems to be go bleh. everything seems to be going great, and on your computer screen it should say uh, Red Snow is done. So we're just gonna lay this down again, and we're gonna go back to our computer and just click on finish. So let's go back to our device. And there's Cydia. Now, of course, guys, it may not work on the first try. This is why it's pretty much a tethered version. So I'm going to go ahead and redo this jailbreak process and one more time. What's up, guys? I finally got Cydia to show up. It only took me, I think, twice already using the uh, trying to reboot it after I've already jailbroken it. So it does take some time. If you get it on perfectly, then keep trying, guys. If it doesn't work, maybe like the fourth time already, try to restore again and redo the jailbreaking process. Because, you know, this is a tethered jailbreak, so it's not going to be 100% perfect. So I'm going to go on city right now to show you that it is working. See, there it's going to tell me which person am I. So I'm going to just select user, click done. And then it's just going to do its usual loading. And you can see its home page and whatnot. And it's updated on 1.1.1 Cydia. So, yeah, I guess today, oh, well, that. So, I'm going to show you that I am running on 4.3.3. About. And as you can see there, it's 4.3.3. Try to get the camera to focus. Let me use my phone 4. There we go. 4.3.3. And we have. Cydia on our home screen. So yeah, if you have any more questions guys, please post a comment on the comment section and if you have any more questions, please post it or just send me a message or run up, but please rate, comment, subscribe and expect more from this channel. See ya.